Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know else how to say I love you. So today I woke up and I seen that uh, I did some trailer reactions to some more movies and I guess people are upset about it. I, um, it's, uh, it's a touchy subject, war movies, you know, because it's, it involves politics and I guess some people don't like the views from certain countries. So basically I've made the decision as controversial, as controversial as it is is that I'm not going to review or react to war movies from one particular country because it upsets the bulk of where my core audience is from and where I want to develop. So if it upsets people from that country, then I'm not going to do trailer reactions of that nature. It's a shame. It's a little bit of censorship, but I can understand people's beliefs about these kinds of things. So that's that's really where I am at. That's what I'm gonna do. It's a it's, a, it's an interesting no it's not interesting. It's a it's a thing that happens most of the time when you're dealing with politics. So you know I never really wanted to get that into the channel. I, I, I always wanted to be about movies and the filmmaking process, music, that kind of stuff. That's what I wanted to really do. So if I'm stepping on people's uh, emotions and feelings by reacting to these types of trailers, then these types of trailers are going to stop, or at least reacting from me. But we'll get more back to the content from Bollywood and Tollywood, which is my primary focus. And uh, that's how Tuesday is beginning. Hold on. Let me uh, just clarify something here before we get going too much. Um, what I'm trying to say is, is that you have to have some kind of limitations on the YouTube, right? I mean, for instance, I'm not going to be saying the f-bomb every now and then. I'm not going to be heavily profanity laced because one of my goals, limitations, is that I feel like I can convey my emotions and what I want to say to you guys without having to say every little bit of profanity here and there just to sound like I'm cool. I don't feel like I have to do that. That's a limitation. So it's realistic to set a boundary um, up saying that, yeah, I'm not gonna watch trailers from this particular point of view. Now, it does become a little bit uh, of a censorship, but it's a warranted censorship because I wanna please the bulk of my audience. <laughs> All right, guys, I really don't know how sometimes I do this, but look at this. I freeze frame this just out of blind luck. And this is going to be the thumbnail image because it, I look hilarious in it. It's just, wow. I I thought making thumbnails would be hard, but somehow it's just, it just falls into place sometimes. And uh, today, Thursday is that day. Today's a weird day. I was just, I was just thinking about somebody from my past and it's from Edmonton uh, many years ago when I was working at Red Lobster. There was this girl named Gidget, and I don't know why, but every now and then you think about things from your past, people, this one person I'm thinking of today for some reason, uh, she had a rough go of life, I think. She was living in like YMCA's and stuff. Um, she uh, would call escargot escargots, and I don't know if she was doing it to be funny or if... Uh, she just didn't know how to pronounce it, but for some reason, I don't know why life does this, but she just popped in my head, and uh, 
There's no reason for it. There's nothing to trigger it. I never saw a commercial for Red Lobster or anything. But life likes to remind you of these things every now and then. Like you'll find that your brain will just conjure up some weird memory. And this, she was a harmless girl. Harmless girl. Like a, she was a good girl. And uh, I remember one day on the bus going to work, uh, I was sitting towards the back of the bus and she came on and just her sensibility about her. She sat in the first closest available seat and she saw me and I kind of like nodded my head. And then she turned around and started talking to me throughout the whole length of the bus. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, whatever. And I got up and I moved up and I sat up beside her and we had a conversation all the way to work. And like that was the extent of our relationship. It was just a uh, casual uh, friendship between co-workers. But I think about her and I always, wanted the best things for her. I wanted, you know, life to reward her with some gifts of compassion and finding a good person to, you know, spend the rest of her life with. And uh, I don't know where she is. She's out there in the ether. I just wish her the best. And it's weird how life just does that to you sometimes. When you're just doing mundane things like making your breakfast, putting together some oats, sharing a memory or two. Alright guys, so that's the week that it has been. I can tell you that it cut, cut a little bit short because I was a little under the weather and uh, I didn't get around to doing a few of my goals. So I'm not going to bother you with you with what I didn't accomplish. I, I still wanted to work on the painting but I didn't get around to that. I wanted to do some editing but uh, I, just, I, I just couldn't do it. I, I uh, was more concentrating and concentrating on getting better again and uh, feeling almost 100% again and uh, we'll get back on track. What I do want to do, what I do want to try to do is figure out a way to still have some videos that I can upload. So I might, I might do some stuff on the side that'll be a little bit out of date perhaps, but it'll be there for days like when I am not available to post because I feel like if I miss a day, then I lose a little bit of my momentum. But I'm back on track. Um, Tuesday, it's today, uh, of the new vlog. Just recorded some stuff for that. Uh, did the Shazam reaction today. So yeah, everything looks like it's gonna be back 100%. So uh, it does seem a little bit like a downer for this vlog, but that's just the way that it, it's gonna be. And uh, my goals for this next coming week, back working on that painting, back working on music, and I want to work on graphics for these vlogs. I'm going to work on actual day graphics, little graphics that'll have a little bit better fonts and stuff like that, and uh, and really work on that intro music, that, that setup, because I want that to have some punch to it. That's what I want to do. All right, so that's this, this week to uh, wrap it all up. My name is James, and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.